Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back here with another video. So uh, unfortunately, I have some uh, bad news if you're a Robert Kennedy fan. I started hearing last night that there was these rumors that uh, Robert Kennedy was potentially going to drop out. Now his uh, vice president, Nicole Shanahan, basically had an interview where she was saying, you know, the DNC is just suing us. They won't stop. They're trying to block us from getting on um, ballot access on every state's. They've tried to sue him in Texas and California, and now they're suing him. <clears throat> sorry, they're suing him in New York, and they're also now suing him in Pennsylvania. So instead of being out campaigning and doing all these events, he's now stuck in court. So now there's all these rumors. So right here it says, this is from Colin Rugg. It says, breaking Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will address the nation live on Friday night in Phoenix, Arizona, about his path forward. Donald Trump will also be in Phoenix this Friday, where he is holding a rally. Independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy will address the nation live on Friday about the president of uh, the present historical moment and his path forward. An announcement on RFK Jr.'s website read. The announcement comes as RFK and his running mate Nicole Shanahan have doubled down on their attacks against the Democratic Party. Now... <clears throat> The interesting thing about this, where you know, mentioned that Donald Trump will also be in Arizona on Friday, he's Robert Kennedy is apparently not only just dropping out, but he's going to be in backing up Donald Trump, essentially. Now, when I first heard this last night, my first thought was, okay, you know what? Robert Kennedy's a lawyer. He's pretty crafty. I bet this is a warning shot to the Democratic Party, basically saying like, hey, back off, stop suing me, allow democracy to happen. And we'll, we'll just do our thing. But if you don't back off, we're going to back Trump and give all of our support essentially to him. But apparently, now again, maybe that, that's still the, the case, but apparently he's also canceled a bunch of other events too. I was talking to one of his bigger supporters on uh, Twitter last night as well, and she did confirm that a bunch of other events have been canceled. Now this could be because of the court cases, um, but that being said, Nicole Shanahan did say that, you know, we were having debates because it's costing so much money. Like it's, it's tens of millions of dollars with all these court cases. <clears throat> I know a lot of us are going to be probably a little bit pissed off to hear this news and say, well, why would he back out after all the donations and all this time? And he gave us so much hope. Like it kind of pissed me off at first too. But if you're in his shoes and one of the major parties is literally doing everything they can to stop you from even even to have an option to be voted for, what are you going to do with this much time left? Right, and he, he was warned he was going to get sued, but I mean, they're suing him in every state and they're just preventing him from doing what he's supposed to do. So I guess in their mind, it's, well, why, why even be an option then? We'll just back Trump. And then in 2028, now he didn't say this part, I'm just thinking out loud, but I'm hoping in 2028, what he decides to do is then run as the uh, Republican nominee. Because the Republicans, even though, I mean, listen, the Republicans are a pretty corrupt party themselves. They're not the ones suing Robert Kennedy to get him off the ballot. It's all the Democrats. It's, it's absolutely disgusting what they've done to him. They cheated him and Bernie Sanders out of the primary. And now they're just doing everything they can to block people from voting for who they want to vote for. The party of democracy apparently doesn't believe in democracy. And there's many, many examples of that. But I mean, it's just absolute bullshit what they are doing to him. And I mean, it. I don't want to have to support Donald Trump. <clears throat> I was thinking about this a lot last night. Like, do I even bother? But you know what? If that's what the Democrats are doing, they deserve to lose more than Trump deserves to lose. I know a lot of people don't like Trump, especially up here in stupid Canada. But hey, Democrats, you want to take away our option? Fine. We'll just vote for the other team just to make sure that you don't win. Still don't think that's going to work for some reason. They seem to be able to cheat everyone and everything out of uh, out of even running for the primaries or even as if you're an independent, which has nothing to do with that Democratic Party. They just seem to find a way to keep cheating and keep rigging it just to make sure that they're going to be the option. But but the federal elections, of course, of course, the federal elections, they're all free and fair, right, guys? They only rig the primaries. They only rig the debates. They only screw over independent candidates. <clears throat> but on election night, I'm sure it'll be fair and free, 100%. Either way, before I go on a too much of a rant and get myself into some trouble here, I'm going to just uh, stop the video right now. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments section, though. 
Um, are you disappointed in this news? Do you think that it's just a rumor and that he's not going to drop out? Uh, let me know what you think. I always enjoy reading your guys' comments. Uh, also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.